When it comes to calculating macronutrients for central parenteral nutrition, you can follow a seven-step algorithm. First, you determine the fluid and energy requirements. Then, you calculate the amount of protein and carbohydrate needed in grams and calculate the amount of calories provided by those nutrients. Once you have the amount of calories provided, you can calculate the amount of fat needed. You will then want to determine which stock solutions and fat emulsion will be used and take those concentrations to calculate the volume of each macronutrient. Finally, you take the volume of each macronutrient to calculate the minimum total volume. Only when you have completed all seven steps will you be ready to write a prescription. The easiest way to determine the demand for fluid, energy, and protein is to use a simple weight-based calculation. For fluid and energy, you should use milliliters per kilogram per day and calories per kilogram per day, respectively. For protein, you should use grams per kilogram per day. Carbohydrate needs are different and can be guided with the glucose infusion rate in mind. As a general rule, you want to provide less than 5 mg per kilogram per minute. This is because exceeding that value increases risk for complications like hyperglycemia and liver dysfunction. So, you choose a rate below 5 and solve for grams by using the formula shown. A rate of 3 mg per kilogram per minute is a good place to start. Once you have the number of grams needed, finding calories from protein is easy. It is the same as calculating calories from food, 4 calories per gram. Since the carbohydrate provided is the hydrated form of dextrose, it only provides 3.4 calories per gram. As soon as you have the calories from protein and carbohydrate, you can solve for fat with subtraction. Calories from fat can then be turned into grams by dividing by 10 since the emulsifying agents add to the usual energy load of 9 calories per gram. This is where you select the stock solutions and fat emulsion from the various choices and calculate the volume of each macronutrient. To do this, it is best to set up a proportion. The concentration of the solutions gives you the grams per 100 milliliter. For example, a 10% amino acid solution contains 10 grams of protein per 100 milliliters. Cross multiplication and division allows you to see how much of that solution is needed to satisfy the amount of grams you want to provide. A different way to get the volume of fat is to know the amount of calories per milliliter of each available emulsion. Then you take the calories you need from fat and divide it by calories provided per milliliter, 1.1, 2, or 3. Coming to an end, you calculate the minimum total volume, which is the lowest volume you can use to fit the ingredients. It must always take into account the 100 to 200 milliliters provided by additives like electrolytes, vitamins, and trace minerals. You can calculate how much sterile water should be added by taking the total desired volume and subtracting the minimum total volume. Finally, you are ready to write a prescription. The prescription should always identify the patient and the weight used to do the calculations. The infusion site, the total volume, and the rate in milliliters per hour should be documented as well. Last but not least, you list the ingredients. Macronutrients should always be written in grams per day to avoid confusion or error if the percent stock solution or fat emulsion changes. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.